And then let's say that it is one plus zero. Then it's one, then plus three. Then it is that monster up there. The three headed serpent thing. Yes. It is plus. Okay, I didn't know whether it was like divided or, or times. Okay. Hello, guys. Xander. Welcome back to some more uh, Hogwarts Legacy. We asked. What? You can snuggle with an owl. Who says you can't? <laughs> Speak as if though you've never snuggled with an owl before. Everyone has. It's like the first step of wizardry, right? So, 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 so bad, huh? Okay, this is where we had uh, charms. Uh, now, how do we? Because we need to get down to um, to meet Professor Weasley. I'll try to get there myself without using the book. Well, 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 well. Oh, I do love that these instruments kind of play music, though. It's kind of nice. Okay, anyway. Uh, let us head down. Do I see any more of those funky things? I don't think so. And what is that supposed to be? Some kind of orb, huh? Is that a dark wizard? I'll hit you. I thought it was moving. I mean, that could be ancient magic, by the way. So I can't use this. Uh, still not time to explore. I need, I need more spells. Give me more spells, damn it. That's a cat. Let me just walk normally, please. Thank you. Oh, okay. I have discovered Transfiguration Classroom. Yes. Let me just explore the, uh, this area really fast. Do you have anything just flying about? I can I can argue with them, you know, if they do. Owls. That was, that was just the wrong one. <laughs> R wrong spell. Uh, sorry about that. I'm still sort of new to this whole wizard thing. I'm I'm not exactly the greatest wizard ever, but you know I try my best. Well, wait, why is my... Do you guys see the white dots on my cloak now? I enjoy my weekly visits to Dogweed and Death Trap. What? I find I'm more comfortable around plants than people, to be honest. Any news about the dragon you pick up on the fall? The dragon? Well, you guys have fun with your dragons and stuff. I'll just go to class. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Oh, De ah, Deke. There you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Uh... Hasn't he said anything? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streela. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Uh, yeah, yeah, Professor, Professor Ronan mentioned that. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. 
In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Oh, now, okay. Regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. So what more can you tell me about the potion shop? Can you tell me more about the potion shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. Oh, oh, oh okay. Uh, what's a spellcraft? I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Okay, uh, so there really is an Ollivanders here. There's an Ollivanders in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. Okay, I'm ready to go. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Uh, who? Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Oh, uh... I mean, Sebastian seems kind of dark, and I haven't spent... Like, I have spent a little bit of time with him, but uh, I should go with... with she was called Netai, right? I'll go with her, actually. Because uh, Sebastian seems like I already spent enough time with him. So let's go with Net... I'm going to call her Netty, actually. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Oh, yeah, Natty. Miss Onai is one of oh, our Miss most Onai. talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Okay. How lovely. Revelio. Something big over here, huh? Speak to Professor Ronan to receive your first assignment. Assignments are types of quests given to you by Hogwarts professors that when completed reward you with new spells. The reward for completing your first assignment will be a mending charm, Reparo. Which is required to complete other quests. Okay. Seems fair enough. Seems like the LSS is gonna have a, has a few issues here. I did enable the highest quality one, right? <laughs> this is just to make sure. Yeah, the LSS, the LSS quality. I also enabled the upscaling. Uh, maybe this is what's causing some of the issues. Uh, I actually had this off before because I didn't feel a difference. Uh, but it seems like I have the same issues with or without it on. Oh well. Oh, I still can't activate this. Okay. Something behind here then? Nope. Uh, but let's just increase the latency because I don't feel a difference. And as long as I don't feel a difference, it is okay. Uh, on. Thank you. Yeah, what did I get? Another outfit. Uh, Decorous jumper school uniform. And now uh, this one is better. Well, for looks anyway. I think I remember there being like a, a shortcut to having like outfits and stuff instead. Like change appearance. Oh, I didn't know I could have the hood on. Gonna run around with a hood on. Yes, I am evil. Wanna give me my first assignment? Oh, it's raining. Perfect. Time to have hood on, too. 
Do you still have hair under the hood? I mean, it seems like you kind of get the hair removed. Oh. Rebellion. Wyvern Fountain. This fountain is a transfiguration courtyard. It has a likeness of a wyvern on top of the surface as a relaxing place for students to gather. Despite rumors to be contrary, possibly started by Sir Cadogan. Or Cadogan. This is most assuredly not meant to be a wyvern of why is slain by the lively knight to in spite of himself. What? I mean, itself? I, I don't know. Oh well. Wyvern Fountain. Alright, Professor. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. It's not raining anymore. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. Uh, what is the purpose of the tasks? Why must I first complete tasks to learn Ropero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. And these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. Okay, I'll complete the test then. It's all good. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. So what's the task? F f collect flying pages. A flying page near the... Okay, collect the flying page in defense. Oh boy. Well, let me just uh, take the hood off. Uh, hood off. There we go. So, collect the flying page near the broken statue. Okay, near the broken statue over here. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Got right it. there. So this is how they teach you that you can collect flying pages. That's good to know. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, the next area. Take me there, my book. A flying page must be around here somewhere. What, a flying page? Yeah, but that's not... Well, well, I might as well take it. Brilliant. Akio. Akio page. Might some kind soul help me? Uh, yeah, who might you be? Sinopia Sin Sin Noak? Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? Sinopia Noak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. I'm sorry to hear that. Actually, no, I'm not. I don't, I don't really care, but... <laughs> Why does everyone hate you? This is what I'm more interested in. Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst. That no-talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. Gobstone. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Sounds awful. I haven't much interest in a game that sprays you with odors. Only if you lose, which I never do. Or at least, not often. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. You are right. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Uh, I'd have done the same. Nah, it sounds like uh, they overreacted a bit. Oh, rather an overreaction. 
reaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Good luck with that. <laughs> you don't have any friends? Haven't you Just any immediately. friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. Ah, uh, Natty. Okay, any ideas as how to reach them? Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Uh, I can't make any promises, but I'll try. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Okay, cool. Uh, hidden around the castles, he said the other students hit them out of her reach. They must have used magic to do so. Uh, uh okay. I'll do this, I guess. Side quest for the win. I love how it has to load before I, I can open the door. High places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Over here. Revelio. Oh, up there we have one. Oh, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. I kind of wish it was just in that one area, because now I have to, like, use this all the time. Which is not the worst thing ever, it's just I wish they would just tell you, like, Oh, they, I, I talk to people around the area, and then they'll tell you where it is, instead of you having to, like, follow a waypoint. I don't know, I just wish they would do something different, you know, than show a waypoint there. Uh, but it's fine. At least it's not, you know, guesswork. <laughs> My guesswork. High places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. And, and, and yeah, and when I say guesswork, I mean like you don't get any hints whatsoever. Just kind of won't run around the place. I I don't like that at all. Oh, it's oh. What what is okay? Is, is this a gobstone? I don't think so. You're already at your destination. Where, oh, up there. Okay. Nice. What is up here then? Hello there. I am looking for gobstones or something. Wigan World Potion. Nice. Revelio. Homestry model. This standing model is a hand in demo. Of a hand is de demarcated to help students in the practice of palmistry. Depending upon the angle at which this model is, uh, is read, it either has a considerable lifeline or is likely to die in a fortnight. Oof. Something else over here. Uh, Modewa Onai. I feel like I'm playing Skyrim, all the scrolls now. Under Professor Black's direction is my honor as deputy head mistress to inform you the position of divination professor at Hogwarts the School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. We are thrilled at the prospect of having you join our distinguished faculty. Please inform us of your intentions as soon as possible. I eagerly await your response. Warmest regards, Professor Matilda Weasley. Seems like Professor Weasley controls everything. What does Blake even do? No sliding? I'd oh well, it's fine. High places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. It's all good. Revelio. Revelio. Hello there. Could there be one hiding around here somewhere? Ooh. Oh. Well, I have all the numbers now, anyway. Reveal.
Wait, how does that work? So I have all the questions. I need to figure out what the questions mark question mark are, marks are, right? So. Oh, so this is the one question mark. Okay, I see, I see. These are the question marks I need to figure out. Uh, I need to find the page I just looked at. That could actually help me out big time uh, if I just knew where to find it. Study guide page, no. Can I like zoom in on it? Nope. Uh, how is it in collections? It must be then, right? Uh, what about the other thing I found? Where, where does that belong? I kind of need to look at it in order to understand the... The things. Ooh, wand handles. Nice. Like a moth to a flame. Uh, I really need to figure out how the heck to do that. No owl post. Okay, that's good to know. Gear, maybe? Must be inventory. This has to be. Oh, this is this one. Okay, so... Study guide page. So, okay. I need to, like, think here. So, when it comes to this thing... Uh, we have one question mark. What is nine? Is there no fast way of opening the thing? It doesn't look like it. So, we have a sea monster serpent thing. Then we have two. Sea monster serpent thing, and then we have two. Uh, that's nine. So, sea monster serpent thing is nine. And two is that thing? Wait, no, no, that's also three. Is it three heads, or is it just a bunch of heads? It's three heads. That's three. Uh, do we have a three? No, we do not. I mean, th but that still counts as three, right? So that can't be the right one. Oh boy, this is gonna... I'm gonna make so many people angry by not knowing how to do this. Okay, so let's say that that's three. Uh, then I need to figure out what animals we have on it. And then I need to figure out which ones are like... There's really no way for me to like have this open. Oh boy. Okay. So this is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So in all, we have ten letters, uh, including zero. For some reason, because they they do code uh, counting. Um. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's supposed to equal nine, right? So three plus two uh, equals five. Then uh, I don't know why I'm thinking so hard about this. It's clearly four. <laughs> I don't know why I was, like, very low. So, one question mark. This is number one question mark, right? One question mark equals four. And four is what? Uh, let's see. Four is this weird creature standing on some kind of broom or something. Okay. Can I even pick that? This one. And then let's say that it is one plus zero. Then it's one, then plus three. Then it is that monster up there. 
The three-headed serpent thing. Yes. It is plus. Okay, I didn't know whether it was like divided or, or times. Okay. What's hiding back here? Rebellion. Oh, yes. Room of secrets. Another one? Okay, show me. Oh, man, come on. <laughs> You do that to me. And another one again. Okay. This is gonna be a puzzle episode. Yeah, can I make this smaller? There you go. A uh, suave striped attire. Nice. I've got the suave. I read the Mansi classroom. This classroom is where students learn about the magical properties of numbers and numerology. Those are great ma many opt instead of spend a period of counting. What? Though a great many opt instead or to spend the period counting moon ca calves whilst nodding off at their desks. I thought it was a time period where they were allowed to hit kids if they didn't listen. Okay, should be easy peasy. So let's see. So we have 13 plus uh, that thing. <laughs> what is that even? 13 plus uh, weird looking thing. Uh, it looks like an out this one. Zero. Uh, so I think this thingy plus zero equals 13. Then 13 plus 14. F I, why can't I count? What's, what's wrong with me? I think it's five, right? five because four plus 14 equals 18 so it's five so what is five uh five is this weird spider looking thing okay and that means two question marks is spider looking thing uh that one. Then we have a spider thing, which is five, and the lizard, which is. Which is what? Six. Five plus six. Okay. Then we have five plus six, uh, which equals 11. Then we need four. And. Yeah, 11. Then we need four. Which is, let's see, uh, four is this weird creature again on a broom. I'm, I don't, I, I'm sorry if you guys know what it is and I just don't know, but oh well. There we go. Oh, it's writing. What are you writing? I, I don't, I don't know that language. Oh, well. So that's that door. Uh, how many more puzzles do we have? We have a couple more, it seems. Well, one more over here, anyway. Okay, let's see. So six plus spider. And spider was five, right? I have to remember all of them now. It's not even a spider. That's a spider. <laughs> five-legged five head. I'm going to call it that instead. The five-legged head. So five plus six equals... I'm just going to be sure. Is it five? Uh, it is indeed five. Okay, so five and that's seven. Okay, so five and seven. Five plus six equals eleven. And then I need a six. That's seven plus one. So, so, six and one. Uh, six is lizard and one is unicorn. Six is lizard and one is unicorn. Six 
Texas lizard, so one question mark lizard. This one unicorn. And then we have lizard. And that should be this one. Yes, of course. How nice, how nice. Not so complicated when you actually know what the puzzle is. <laughs> oh well. I'd better keep an eye on high places around oh. the school for Zenobia's book. Okay, three more to go. Show me, show me my book. Hello, Gryffindor. I am your worst nightmare, for I am Slytherin. Stutter. Gotta love it. I'm thinking of maybe just sub-limiting my FPS, because the stutter might be less noticeable if I do that. The issue is just that it might be a little bit weird too. Uh, hello, anyone here? Oh, there's another little thingy here. Uh, what am I looking for? So one question mark and two question marks. And uh, where's the thingy? It's here. So spider plus one. Okay, this, this one isn't as hard. Spider plus one. I have not done the spider yet. Uh, spider plus one. Spider is eight. 8 plus 1 is 9, so... Uh, 4. And 4 is... Let me think, let me think. Let's see if I can't remember. It's not the broom guy, is it? Is it the broom guy? Let's see if it's a broom guy. Let me guess, let me guess. Uh, 4 is broom thing. Let's try that out. I don't remember if that's true. I'm just trying to see if I can't force myself to remember now. A uh, three-headed thingy is three, so three plus thirteen equals sixteen, and sixteen to one is five, and five is a uh, five-legged head, and that should be it if I did right. I did. This is so rewarding because I'm challenging myself. It's nice. I'm gonna forget this next time I close the game, but. <laughs> Damn it, if I don't feel proud right now. Keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Another one right there. Hello there, how are you doing? I'm Noel. I'm Slytherin. Bully! <laughs> oh well, let's see. Well, I do have to end the video here. I was thinking I could finish this quest before I ended it, but nah, it, it's a little bit too, um, it's gonna be too long if I do that. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this one because I will have to end it. If you did enjoy watching, consider liking and subscribing. Hope to see you in the next one. And as always, stay awesome.